Hello everyone, welcome to the video on configuring Red Ring in Catalyst Center. In this video, we will explore the Cisco Resilient Ethernet Protocol, commonly known as RAP in short, and its significance in addressing network ring configurations typical in industrial IoT scenarios. We will also cover how the deployment and management of RAP can be simplified and effectively managed by the Cisco Catalyst Center. Ring topology is commonly deployed in OT spaces such as energy, railway, and marine sectors. When those machinery, sensors, meters, control systems are connected in widely spread geographic locations where network connectivity is limited. And these industrial systems are sensitive to time. A single point of network failure could stop the machine from communicating with each other. Therefore, traditional spanning tree technologies cannot provide fast enough convergence in responses to network failure in these environments. RAP is a Cisco proprietary protocol designed to manage network rings and support fast layer 2 convergence within 50 milliseconds when connected with fiber connections. In RAP topology, when we configured primary and secondary edge ports on a switch, the switch is selected as the edge switch. It is the red loop that interfaces with non red connections. Under normal conditions, when all ports are operational, a single port is blocked by the red election. This block port is known as alternate port. Data is not forwarded through a block port, but the local link status between adjacent labels continues to be monitored for topology changes. In the event of network failure, the block port is unblocked, transitions to forwarding states, and then resumes traffic flow. Red wing could be run in conjunction with SDA fabric, so it could be deployed in SDA fabric mode or non-fabric mode. If we provisioned red topology in non-fabric mode with the Cisco IE switches, it could be seamlessly deployed and managed by the Cisco Catalyst Center to manage the creation, updates, and deletion of red wings across the network. Using Catalyst Center to configure a red ring for an industrial environment offers several benefits. Firstly, configuration is simplified. Catalyst Center provides a guided workflow that simplifies the process of configuring red rings. This reduces the complexity and potential for error when setting up the network ensuring consistency across devices in the ring. And visualization. Catalyst Center visualizes the topology of the network, including red rings, which can help in planning and troubleshooting. Manageability. With Catalyst Center, we can manage all network devices from a single pane of glass making it easier to monitor and maintain the network. And status monitoring. Catalyst Center allows you to view the status of the devices in a red wing, including the different states of the links, which is essential for ongoing operations and quick recovery from issues. For the Cisco IE switch platform that supports Red Wing configuration by the Cisco Catalyst Center, you can refer to the list provided here. Thank you for watching. In the next video, 
we will be sharing the step-by-step -step configuration and deployment of Red Ring using the Cisco Catalyst Center.